Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to create a purchase order. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Thanks so much for joining me. I wanted to walk through how to create a purchase order in QuickBooks and also why you would create a purchase order because it's one in a sequence of a, a number of transactions uh, when you're purchasing uh, items or inventory or other parts for jobs or you know if you're manufacturing that kind of thing so we're going to get into how and why to create a purchase order in quickbooks 2021 first i want to ask you please subscribe to the channel i'm uh, doing a lot of great content here for people that use quickbooks uh, and to help them run their business uh, better and to help them uh, make better decisions in their business. So please subscribe. Also, if this video is helpful, please like it. Uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, help spread the word. All right. Okay. So why do you create purchase orders in your business? Well, the, the primary reason is you need to order something. Okay. So you might get a sales order from a customer that says, hey, we need, you know, a thousand uh, of these parts or you know, we have a job that's come in and you need to order some lumber or you need to order something else, whatever it is, something that you need to order for your business uh, because a customer needs it and you need to place a purchase order with a vendor. OK, and this happens a lot. So in QuickBooks, what you can do is once you create this purchase order, you can convert that to a bill. You can receive inventory against it. There's all sorts of things, but it's going to help you track what you have on order with your vendors for certain jobs or for certain customers okay so it can be very very important for tracking purposes all right now one important thing to remember uh, within quickbooks is once you record a purchase order uh, or if you receive a sales order for that matter it's a non-posting transaction so what that means is it does not post to the accounting records so it's not going to show inventory it's not going to show any expenses revenue any of that kind of stuff it is simply a non-posting entry that puts it into QuickBooks so you can track it so that you know what's going on within your business. OK, so here we are at the home screen and uh, you're going to see the flow chart up here where it says purchase order. OK, so if you follow the arrows here, you're going to see, you know, you've got estimates, you've got sales orders from customers. So you send them an estimate, you get a sales order. So you get that sales order, then you create a purchase order, send it to your vendor. You either receive inventory uh, and then enter bills against inventory, or it could be that you get a purchase order and you don't put it in inventory, it just goes straight to a bill. OK, so we're going to click right here, purchase order, and you're going to see this is a form. So this uh, on the screen here is a form in QuickBooks, what it's called. And if you're a little bit familiar with QuickBooks, you're going to notice that uh, forms are the same for entering bills, uh, for writing checks, that kind of thing. So you're going to have this form that comes up and it's pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to walk through this. All right. So first of all, you got your vendor. So let's say that we are uh, doing a purchase order to bank of any city. OK, I'm just picking one here. I'm going to put this to, let's say, the new construction commercial class. We're not drop shipping. Uh, we have a custom purchase order template date and the PO number. And you can change this and customize this PO number somewhat. Vendor and then ship to. OK, so these are all going to typically uh, automatically populate based on items that you have entered into QuickBooks. All right. So let's say that we are ordering exterior wood doors from the bank of any city. Strange that a bank sells doors, but that's who we're buying it from. All right, so we're going to buy 10 of these. All right, and they are $590.39. You can change this if you want. If you need to assign a customer to this, you definitely can. So let's say that this is a utility shed for Mike Balak. And we need to order 10 of these. That is a mighty big utility shed. So it's 5903.90. Okay. One thing you'll notice on here, you know, you can put ship shipping and things like that. But oftentimes, and this question comes up a lot, is okay, I'm sending this purchase order to my vendor. They're going to send me 10 exterior doors uh, for Mike Block's utility shed. Uh, they're going to charge shipping. They might charge sales tax, that kind of thing. That's okay. 
All right, you don't necessarily need to put this on the purchase order. When you get the final bill, you can add that to the final bill. All right, so the purchase order's done. And what you can do, you can either print this now, send it to your vendor, you can email it now, you can email it later, but you're gonna send this to your vendor to place an order. All right, so we're gonna hit save and close. All right, so now what I wanna show you is uh, two things. One, how you can track this. Uh, and then uh, two, I wanna show you when you go to enter a bill and you get a bill for this purchase order, what it's gonna look like. First, what I want you to do, if this video is helpful and it's helping you out with your QuickBooks file, like the video, share it. Do me a favor, share it on Facebook, uh, share it to other business owners who will find this helpful. Also subscribe to the QuickBooks University channel, this channel here. Uh, it helps me out a lot and it helps me continue to provide free content. Okay, now what you want to do if you want to track your purchase orders a very simple way you want to first go to your chart of accounts okay and you can do this a couple different ways you know there's a button right here it says chart of accounts you can also go to this company drop down menu and you're going to see an option here chart of accounts so i'll go ahead and choose this and if you go all the way to the bottom see i'm all the way at the bottom of the chart of accounts you're going to see these non-posting items so you got purchase orders estimates sales orders so I'm going to double click on the purchase orders and you're going to see here's a listing of all the purchase orders and there's the one that we just did bank of any city so if I double click on this okay you're going to see everything that we have or, or that we entered just a few minutes ago and you're going to see some recent transactions etc uh, but this will take you back to this original transaction so I'm going to save and close this but now let's say that we get a bill all right we get a bill from Bank of Any City, and I go to Vendors, Enter Bills. And I'm going to type in Bank of Any City. Let me pull this over here so you can see it. It's on the other screen. It says, Open Purchase Orders exist for this vendor. Do you want to receive against one or more of these orders? We're going to click Yes. And again, I'm popping up on the other screen. I'm going to choose this one, this PO number. This is the one we just created. We're going to say OK. All right, so now you're going to see that it's going to pull in the item, wood exterior door, da 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 da. It's got the um, uh, billable for new construction for Mike Block, etc. And we're going to hit save and close. Okay. And there we go. We have now uh, entered a bill against this purchase order. And if we double click on this, we're going to see received in full. So that means that we have received uh, these items in full. We have entered the bill. And that's all there is to it. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. And again, not to beat a dead horse, but please subscribe to the channel. Again, helps me out tremendously to continue making these free training tutorials. Also, like the video, share it with friends, business owners, uh, whoever you like. Talk to you soon.